Now, a car that lay hidden for more than 30 years in tunnels underneath a factory in Birmingham is to be auctioned. The Mini Clubman was used by workers to travel around the car plant at Longbridge, but was secretly dumped in the late 1970s after it was damaged. But it was saved by a former factory worker last year. Our transport correspondent, Peter Plisner, is at uh, Longbridge right now. Uh, where exactly are these tunnels, Peter? Well, I think they're virtually underneath the spot I'm standing on, a network of tunnels underneath what's left of the old Longbridge car factory. They date back to the Second World War when there were worries that uh, this area might be bombed, but uh, since then they've been used mainly to collect rubbish and the odd collectible car. It's been billed as the last Mini to leave Longbridge. In reality, it's a rusting shell, but it certainly has some historical value. This is what the car looked like just before it was rescued from tunnels under the factory. Pictures on the internet inspired former Longbridge worker Steve Morgan to save it. Well, I'd seen a lot of entries on posts on internet forums about people that they'd like to get it. And I thought, well, I'm, I'm a bit more proactive than that. I'm going to go and get it. So I asked the right people. They said, help yourself, go and salvage parts from the old factory. And that's what I've done. Until now, this has been considered the last Mini to leave the Longbridge factory when production ceased of this model in the year 2000. Production spanned 41 years in total, and during that time, they produced more than 5 million Minis. Today, it is still possible that the British Motor Corporation as a trade name means little to many of the millions of motorists throughout the world who drive British cars. Built during the heyday of car production at Longbridge, the 1976 Mini Clubman is now up for sale and auctioneers have no idea how much it'll fetch. So if, you, if you're a non-classic car passionate, yes, it is, a, it, is a, it is a rusting shell, but it's a rusting shell that played a significant role in the history of British Leyland and in particular the production of the Mini. And what about those tunnels under the factory? They were built just before the Second World War to house factories vital to the war effort. But according to Longbridge historians, they weren't actually needed. They had a dual purpose, really. One, they would act as air raid shelters for the local population and the workforce. But they were also intended to move manufacturing underground, should that be necessary, and the area should be very badly bombed. In, in the event, Longbridge wasn't bombed. And that meant the tunnels ended up being used for storage, including, as we have found out, cars that time forgot. It looks a lovely evening for you there, Peter, I must say. Now, does anyone have any idea how much this car might be worth? Well, no one's quite sure. The auctioneer I spoke to this morning, who you saw in the film, reckons around three to five thousand pounds. But uh, ultimately, this is a rusting shell of a car, and uh, Stephen Morgan, who's selling it, has put no reserve on it. Uh, I can tell you that uh, in 1976, when this car was sold as new, it uh, went for uh, eighteen hundred pounds. Now, Stephen himself says that uh, if the car does sell, he will donate some of the proceeds to Acorns Hospice. Um, the auction itself takes place at the end of July if you're interested in bidding. OK. Peter, the, the history of these, these tunnels is fascinating, isn't it? Including the discovery of this car, of course. But what are they used for now? Well, the tunnels basically are abandoned and there is talk that they are going to be filled in soon. But they do date back to the Second World War when uh, there were obviously worries that uh, uh, vital manufacturing sites like this would be bombed. Uh, there are similar tunnels elsewhere in the country. Some of the most famous ones are in London where they actually use in some places, some parts of the London underground as uh, factories during the war. But of course, here uh, they were never bombed or at least there was very little activity and uh, the tunnels have... Uh, not been used and really have been forgotten about. What about the rest of the Longbridge site? It's a massive area, isn't it? What, what else is happening there now? Well, it is still a big, sprawling site. Behind me, you can see uh, what remains of the uh, Longbridge factory. That's uh, owned by the Chinese, and they have a big design centre, and they are still producing some cars here. But have a look over here, and you can see some of the development that's going on elsewhere on the Longbridge site. Uh, you can see Bourneville College. There's also a Sainsbury's going in there, and indeed some offices and some new shops. Uh, there's going to be uh, factories here and indeed uh, elsewhere on the site there's a lot of housing going into. OK, Peter, thank you very much.